In recent months, Midjourney has been one of the main AI tools for side hustles and money making methods. But if you don't want to spend $10 a month on Midjourney, there's an alternative with a free forever plan that delivers similar results. Introducing Leonardo AI. This AI has been getting some major updates and now has the capabilities to compete with Midjourney. In this video, I'll go through the features of Leonardo AI, explain why Leonardo AI is better than Midjourney, and show you how to use this completely free AI tool to make money online. Firstly, go to their site, click on create an account, and input your name and email address. You'll be redirected to a thank you page where you'll be asked to complete a survey to get instant access. But let me tell you a secret, you don't even have to fill out this form. Just go back to the website. In the top right corner, click start using Leonardo then yes, I'm whitelist. Now, you'll need to click login to Leonardo AI. Log in using the email you provided at the start, and that's it. You've got early access to Leonardo AI. Here is the home page. As you can see Leonardo AI is web-based, so you don't even need a Discord account like with Midjourney which is way more convenient in my opinion. You'll be able to look at past creations that were made using Leonardo AI. All of these are super high quality just like the images you'd be able to create with Midjourney. What I really like about this is that it offers the ability to see the prompt and all the settings that were used to generate an image. You also have the option to see the image with different upscaling options. But what makes Leonardo AI a real game changer is that if you head to their frequently asked questions channel, you can find that you are free to use the images you generated commercially. This totally beats Midjourney since it requires a monthly plan for commercial rights. Like many text-to-image services, Leonardo AI uses a token system which initially put me off. But that's when I realized that you get 150 tokens that reload every 24 hours. Which means you can generate 150 images a day, which is plenty, and you can sign up with different email addresses if you need to generate more. Alright. To start generating your AI images, select AI Image Generation in the left panel. This page has tons of things to look at so we'll take these things slowly. Here we have a field to input your image prompt. Below that under Fine Tune Model, you can choose a model. Click Select Custom Model to see all the models Leonardo has to offer in the Platform Model tab. These models are trained for different image generation purposes. You can also check out the Community Model, which are models created by the users themselves. Next, you can enable negative prompt and input what you don't want in your image. Further down, there are tabs for image generation, which is where your generations will show up, and prompt generation. This is a unique tool that you definitely won't find in Midjourney. It will give you more detailed prompts from a simple prompt. For example, if you type in an abandoned car in a forest and click ideate, it will come up with a number of more complex concepts with our given prompt. On the left side, you have a few interesting options some of which don't come with Midjourney's limited free plan. Here you're able to pick the number of images that you want to generate per prompt. The default is set to 4, which is fine for most purposes if you have a good prompt. Photo Reel is a new beta that only works with Alchemy, which is another paid feature that greatly enhances your final images. As a new user you'd have several Alchemy generations per day, but I don't recommend using it if you're not on a paid plan because it costs 8 tokens per generation for the smallest dimension. Prompt Magic is a feature that ensures better prompt adherence. This'll cost an extra token. Next you have the image dimensions. Each Leonardo model has been trained on a different dimension, so just choose the recommended dimension for the model you're using for the best results. Then you have the guidance scale. This is basically how strongly your prompt is weighted. Or in other words, how much creative freedom Leonardo gets to generate your image. I'd recommend something near 7. After that, you have this very handy option called tiling. This is really useful if you're creating repeating patterns or textures. Lastly, we have these two options, image to image and image prompt. Image to image will use an image that you upload as a starting off point. And with image prompt, you can upload five images max to influence the final result. With the business model I'm about to show you, you'll make good use of this feature. At the beginning of this video, I promise to show you a way to make money using Leonardo AI. And it's actually a very simple process. Using these two floral pattern designs and Leonardo's powerful AI, we'll create our own unique digital pattern that we can then use to sell on marketplaces like Etsy. To find your reference images, go to Google or Pinterest and search a generic keyword to get some style references. Back to Leonardo AI. To start, 
Let's select four variations. I'll turn on Prompt Magic V2 and High Contrast. For this model the resolution will be 1024 by 1024. Don't forget to enable tiling. Now my prompt here will be, develop a seamless spring floral pattern background, best quality, in the Scandinavian style, vintage flowers, retro colors, vector art, fantasy art, watercolor effect, 4K resolution, photorealistic rendering, using Cinema 4D. Now this prompt itself generates some pretty cool results, but we can take it a step further. I'll go to image prompt and upload our two images. I'll select 0.5 for the image weight and 0.6 for the prompt magic strength and then click generate. You'll have to wait for a bit. If you're not happy with the generations, you can click generate a few more times for more to choose from. After that, just click on the one you like. Unlike mid journey, you have a lot of functions to manipulate your image. You can delete the image, download the image, copy to clipboard, unzoom image, which will scale down the original image and give you more detail. And you can remove the background if needed. We have several image upscaling options here, but for our pattern I'll choose HP Crisp Upscale. We'll need to wait a bit, and after that, we have a finished image that we can sell. You can generate a few more similar images and sell patterns like these on Etsy, but let's look at a more interesting method. Using Printify, we'll create a physical product that the Printify team will make for us. What makes this method so easy is that we won't even have to worry about packaging or shipping. Printify will take care of everything. On the Printify website, choose this pillow template or any bestseller product, and then click on Start Designing. Next, simply upload your image onto the blank mockup. Since our product is a pattern, click on Create Pattern. Then you can scale up or scale down the pattern for the most visually appealing result. Once you've done all that, choose Preview. Here, you can see how your pattern will look in the end. With this pattern, you can also sell other products, such as phone cases, tumblers, tote bags, notebooks, and many more. All that's left for you to do is to list your product on Etsy and start making money. If you've found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.